I was talking about going to get a haircut. That was during the bus ride, and um, I remember there's a couple of people on the bus that were um, talking real loud, like behind us. We weren't listening to their conversation, and um, uh, when the bus ride, there's a lot of people at the, the transit center, so we had to walk through kind of a crowd. And uh. there's a, a lot of people going different directions. And um, right when we got off, it was loud. And um, I remember getting pushed in the back. And um, like, yeah, it seemed like something was going on before we got up to the mall. And it seemed like I was in the middle of something already. When I found out, you know, I, I seen, I noticed somebody up there that I used to go to school with in uh, middle school. The kid was in the yearbook and he was a year younger than me. And he played basketball with me. And my friend Isaac was going to the, the, the school at the same time and he recognized him too. And we didn't think nothing of it because we just didn't expect it, man. Who would? Yeah, and um, when I found out, I mean, that it was it was him. Wait, wait, he yeah. was the one you actually knew him. Yeah. Hmm. His his wow. bullet hit me. Wow. And it went straight through like it hit me right here. So and, you on the side. Yeah, and, in the back. In the back. and you know, like it, it happened so fast. Like I didn't know they were gunshots. You know, and, right? Yeah. And were you the only one that was hit? Um, I think so. Honestly, I think so. in your family side of it is they're so happy you're alive mm -hmm. and yeah. you're and they're like you're gonna get through this and they're like you know if you're young and you know you just gotta be patient and you know you gotta be willing to you know do what what you gotta do to get healthy and you have and, yeah yes absolutely and just accepting that is you know it's kind of like you and I are talking about it looking like last week. It's kind of like a grief process. Like, you grieve what you thought your life was going to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you could turn on the TV and watch friends you played basketball with in the NCAA tournament and exactly. about to get drafted yeah. and things. But then, where you're at, but you, you'll be able to tell them, look what I did. Yeah. I remember telling you, right after you got listed, I said, okay, so now you got to come up with a good story for how this all happened, <laughs> right? So when they sew yeah. it all back, because we was asking you how they put it all back together. Yeah. And I said, you know, something like belly button piercing gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> something, <laughs> <laughs> something, you know. Oh, gosh. It's like, you walk in your shoes different now. And I'm like, yeah. Literally, I yeah. walk in my shoes differently. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you for putting up with us. Uh, thank, <laughs> thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> Just sticking it out. You're doing all the work. Bright future head. Yeah. Bright infectious smile. You know, I'm glad that I'm at Providence, and you know, I'm glad that I met you guys. And you're welcome. Same here. You're welcome. Thank you.